Hello everyone, this is Bertina Amy here, and welcome to my channel. In today's painting video, I thought it would be fun to do an experimental mixed media painting art project. So I decided to use acrylics, watercolor, and my alcohol markers. I'm also going to be using this 8x10 canvas board from Dollar Tree to paint on, and I thought it would be fun to see what the effects would be of using watercolor on top of this. And I noticed that, of course, another one of these boards, uh, yet again, is kind of dirty. But I'm not going to let that get to me and I'm not going to even bother to prime it. I just want to see what happens. So this art painting is going to be inspired by St. Patty's Day, which is around the corner. And I really love St. Patty's Day. And I thought it'd be really cute to make a, a painting of a St. Patty's Day gnome. So like in my previous DIY painting videos, I decided to go ahead and create my own template of a gnome, a St. Patty's Day gnome to be exact. So we're going to take the template, we're also going to take one of these carbon sheets with the shiny side down, and we're just going to take a pencil and just trace the template over top the canvas board. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. Now once you're done tracing the template, I highly recommend that you first take a peek to see how the tracing went, just to make sure that every area was covered. Then like in my previous videos, go ahead and take the sharpie and outline everything. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. So while painting this gnome, I actually realized that I didn't start outward then go in, which I normally like to do, and I still recommend that. I ended up just diving right into the gnome first and that it still ended up being fine but I still recommend doing the background first and anyways I went ahead and decided on painting the gnome with acrylic paint first and make sure that you know what colors you want to use before you start and make sure you set up your station as well so for this gnome I chose two different shades of green because I really wanted the little clover four leaf clover to actually show up instead of like blending in with the hat so you can, of course, choose whatever colors you'd like to use. So while the gnome's outfit was drying, I went ahead and decided to switch gears and paint the sky. And with the sky, I decided to use, or the background in general, not just the sky, I decided to use watercolor just to see how it would turn out. And for my sky, I used a combination of purple, blue, and black. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. So I started out first by painting the entire background, including the grass, with black watercolor. And then I decided to go into the background and add in the different purples and blues in different areas randomly. So I'm sure someone will comment out there how I even painted the grass purple, but don't worry, it's going to get covered up with green later. So then I go back to the gnome and paint it in acrylic paints again, uh, starting with the nose first. Then I take my other shade of green and decide to give the clover color and the hair ties, the sort of palm thing on the hat, and even the shoes also green. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. So at this point I hadn't decided to color in the shoes or the hair ties green yet, but I go ahead and start on the hair with a base color of brown. And I highly recommend that you always start with the darker shade of hair first just to get in the shadows first. And then you can always add in strands of lighter shades with a lighter shade of brown or whatever color hair you choose. Just make sure it's a lighter shade of that color. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. So I felt that the painting could use a second coat. So I went ahead and did that off camera and then I added in the highlights of the hair strands. So for the moment you've all been waiting for, I finally get around to the grass now that everything's dry. And I go ahead and cover it with green watercolor. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. And once you're satisfied with your painting, then let it dry for a little while. Then go ahead and take your black sharpie and go over the outline once more. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. So once you're done with the outline, you can go ahead and decide how you want to add details to your piece. In my case, I decided to make it look as though this gnome was wearing something really fuzzy. So I took my Ohuhu 
alcohol markers and I decided to add little dash marks all around the hat and the outfit. Then I grabbed a green marker to go ahead and add additional grass lines to the piece. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part of the process up a little bit. And then of course I go ahead and take a brown marker and add in additional lines to the hair lines. And here you can see my lines aren't perfect and that's totally okay because the goal for this project was just to give the viewer an idea or a hint of the hair lines and the shadows and things. And so please be kind to yourself when you're creating your own piece and just have fun creating and experimenting. If you're interested in recreating this project, there will be a discount code on this template. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!